Hi, my name is Lamia, and in this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to set up an account with Binance, how to secure the account with two factor authentication, and also do identity verification. There are a lot of exchanges and trading platforms to trade cryptocurrencies on, and Binance is one of the best. Binance is a trusted exchange with good reputation. It offers about 600 cryptocurrencies at the time of making this video. Before we start, warning. First, please, before you open your Binance account, make sure that your email is secured and that you do remember the password for your email. Second, please take note of any password or private key on a hard copy first, then rewrite it as a backup offline on a USB drive that only you can access. If you want to add an extra layer of security to your account, you can save that data on what we call an encrypted USB drive, which you can access only by fingerprint. And this will protect your account data from unauthorized access. Now go to www.binance.com slash en. Double check the URL to make sure this is the official one. Then bookmark this website. From this point forward, only access Binance Exchange using this bookmark to avoid becoming a victim of a phishing site. Or you can use the referral link in the description below to safely access Binance. Sign up and follow along with me. And now let's get started. The link in the description will take you to this page. So first step, click on register now. Now click on sign up with phone or email address. So here you either sign up with your email address or mobile phone. That's entirely up to you. But for this video, I'm going to choose the email address. So go ahead and enter your email address. Now set up a password and make sure to write it down. All right, now click on I have read and agreed to Binance terms and services. And now click on agree to receive marketing updates from Binance if you wish to, uh, I won't. And then go ahead and click on create personal account. Binance have sent you a six digit verification code to your email or to your phone, whichever you have chosen. So go to your email, copy the code or to your uh, messages, copy the code and paste it here. So I copied and pasted my uh, six digit verification code that was sent to my email and now click on submit. All right, that's cool. So now it's taking us to the next stage. So here it says account created. Please proceed to complete identity verification. Congratulations, you now have created an account with Binance, but in order to unlock most features, you have to verify your identity. Identity verification is required in order to find your account with fiat currency like GBP, Euros, or USD. Then from there, you can convert your fiat currency to crypto stable coins such as USDT, USDC, or BUSD. Finally, you can buy, invest, trade cryptocurrencies. If you want to fund your account with fiat currency, I advise you to watch my next video. Now let's go back to proceed to complete identity verification. So, so now in order to verify the identity, we have to click here, verify now. All right, so select your country of residence. Uh, I'm in the United Kingdom, so I will be selecting United Kingdom, but you guys, you can select from the drop down menu according to the country where you are. All right, so once done, just click on continue. Now here, personal information, identity information, nationality is done. Now enter your first name, last name, and date of birth. So once completed, click on continue. So for this step, for the identity verification, you have to scan the QR code below with the Binance app to complete the identity verification. So you have to download the Binance app. How you do that is very simple process. So you click on download app, and then on your phone and go to photo and then scan this QR code and you can see here binance.com so click on that and this will redirect you to this page click first option if you have an iPhone and second option for Android and this is for Google Play so choose according to which device you are using so now just after this step where I walked you through how to download the app. So now once you're logged into your account to finish the process on your phone to do identity document verification and take a selfie. Uh, so what you do now, you have to click on this QR code in order to continue. 
So click on the QR code icon on the bottom right corner to complete and then scan on your phone and then you will see this verification process step on your phone. So confirm to continue. So now getting started. Step one, scan your ID. Step two, video selfie. Step three, log in and transfer one cent. And step three, verify via SMS. Of course, the requirements vary from different countries. Just follow the steps shown on your phone. Scan ID, video selfie, log in and transfer one cent and verify via SMS. Now, first scan your ID document. You can scan choosing verify with passport or ID. So the choice is yours. So here you have to take a photo of the front of your ID. Position your ID in the indicated zone and click on start. Scan it. Now this step is for the video selfie. For this step, you have to complete what we call a liveliness test. So position yourself inside the circle. Please make sure not to wear any hard glasses or use filters and make sure that the light is sufficient and then click start. Now select your bank to verify yourself. You need to transfer one cent via selected bank. It will be refunded in two business days. So just enter your bank details and click on confirm. And then once all that done, you should see identification submitted successfully. And then click on continue. Next, you need to enter your address. And depending on your country, you may need to upload the proof of address. If like me, you are in the UK, you have to do this process. You have to do this step. So upload the file or if you have a choice of a bank statement or utility bill like electricity or water. So you upload it and then you press continue. All right. Lastly, you need to answer some compliance questions like what you will be using Binance for, like for trading or for investing. Just go ahead and select the options that applies to you. So after completing all this process, or the application is under review, you will be notified once the application has been verified. Once you're verified, you can unlock most of the features in Binance that you can start trading invest in okay now that you have created your account and done identity verification the first thing you want to do when you log into your Binance account is to increase the security level of your account by adding the two-factor authentication what that means is in the future when you want to log into your Binance account you're not only gonna have to enter your password to get to your account but also you have to enter this six digit code that you will be receiving via the Google or Binance Authenticator application. Now, I highly recommend to use an application like Google Authenticator or Binance Authenticator. Why? Because if you use only text messages, the criminal can do something what we call SIM swapping. Where if someone steals your personal information, which is very likely because there's been a lot of data breaches and they have enough information to prove that they are you to your phone provider, and then relink that phone number to a different device. That is a SIM swap. You don't want that to happen to you, right? So I highly recommend using Google verification with Google Authenticator. Don't worry, I will show you step by step how to set it up. Before we proceed, please be very careful with this Google or Binance Authenticator QR code and key. As this is something you need to save to restore your account in case you lose your phone, you will lose access to your Google Authenticator. So if by mistake you deleted the Google app authenticator and reinstall it you lost all codes that was on there so you need to back it up like i explained earlier on the video on a secured hard drive now i'm gonna walk you through the process so once you're logged into your account how to check the security uh, just go to user center from here and go to security okay, let's check the security of this account so as you can see here the binance Google Authenticator is disabled. Uh, this account is only verified by phone number and email address. So in order to increase security for this account, we have to enable the Binance or Google Authenticator. So just go here, click on enable. All right, so we will be redirected to this page. Enable Binance or Google Authenticator. So there is five steps to complete. So download the app is step one. Step two, scan QR code. Step three, backup key. Step four, enable Binance slash Google Authenticator and five will be completed. So here you have the choice of two authenticators, Binance Authenticator or Google Authenticator, whichever you want to choose. For example, for me, I'm using Google Authenticator already, but I will show you both ways. So the first one we're gonna do is Binance Authenticator. So what we do, we're gonna download the app. How to download the app? 
open your phone and uh, like you take a picture scan this qr code so once you scan the code it will redirect you to this page download binance authenticator as you can see here so I'll click on app store download binance authenticators and click on get now click on scan qr code Now I'm going to show you the second one, which is Google Authenticator. So how to download and use your Google Authenticator. Click on Google Authenticator. Download the app if you don't already have it. If you have the app, just click on this plus sign. And then click on scan the QR code shown on the computer. So once you click, now as you can see, Binance is on my Google Authenticator. It's generating six digit code. This code will be updated every 30 seconds. So as you can see now, the code will be regenerated. All right, that's a new code again. All right. So now each time you log into your Binance account, it will ask you to generate this code. Click next. As I mentioned earlier, be very careful with this Google Authenticator QR code and key, as this is something you need to save in order to restore your account in case you lose your phone or you lose access to your Google Authenticator. Please be very careful with that. So how you do that, I explained earlier how to save it. Now, after backing up your key, just click on next and then next again. So here on this step, in order to enable Binance or Google Authenticator, which one you have chosen, you have to verify your account first by phone number, email and authenticator code. So how you do that? So just click on get code. A code will be sent to your phone number. Copy the code and paste it here. Second one for the email, click on get code. You will receive an email with the code. Copy the code and paste it here. And for the authenticator, open your Binance Authenticator or Google Authenticator, which one you have chosen. Put the code here and then click on next. And by finishing this step, it will be completed. Please watch my next video about Binance tutorial on how to buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, how to convert cryptocurrencies and how to send and receive cryptocurrencies. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more tutorials video like this, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the future videos. And now, see you in the next one.